Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome back. Guys, oh, it has been so insane. It has been so insane. Thanksgiving is always crazy, crazy, crazy at my house. I hope you all had the most wonderful, amazing Thanksgiving ever. I hope you all ate way too much food, consumed way too many carbs, and saw so much of your family that you're tired of them and don't want to see you again until next Thanksgiving. <laughs> I know I did for sure. Uh, I'm the oldest out of all my siblings. So of course, everyone descends on my house and I cook enough food to feed a, a small country and we all eat until we're sick and then uh, pass out on the couch and then uh, everybody leaves and go home, goes home and I spend the next two days uh, washing dishes and uh, cleaning my house. <laughs> it, it's it's quite wonderful though. I, I very much enjoy it. Uh, I also finally got, okay, so excuse my nails. They are destroyed. I'm missing one here. I'm missing one here. Uh, my nails did not, this one's broken. My nails did not fare uh, very well after Thanksgiving. Uh, the stove got one of them. The refrigerator got one. And then uh, while I was carving the ham, <laughs> I got my thumb. <laughs> Anyway, I haven't got to the point where I uh, can take them all off and redo them. So we're just going to ignore my nails today. And I will go ahead and I will start talking about the makeup because I have so much to talk to you guys about. I haven't seen you in forever. And I don't know about you, but I missed you a whole bunch. So I'm excited to be filming again. Uh, the next couple of weeks are going to be insane because y'all know Christmas T minus one month away. We are, it's go time, go, go, go. So like... All kinds of craziness happening, all kinds of like super busy uh, just days are full, but uh, I am going to try very, very hard to upload at least three times a week uh, during the month of December really really gonna try I'm really gonna try to bang out some really beautiful glamorous holiday looks for you guys uh, you guys know that the whole point of my channel is I want to give you super easy super quick looks that you guys can just throw on in the morning in the afternoon whenever you're getting ready to go anywhere and I'm trying to give you looks that are super wearable but fun and colorful and bright and you know just trying to bring a smile to your face. Uh, so that's what we're doing with this one. Now, I know blue is not everybody's color. Uh, I know blue is definitely a color that is very scary for a lot of people, uh, myself included, uh, not too long ago, actually. I was terrified of blue. I was terrified. Uh, I didn't want to look like an old lady, you know, like the blue eyeshadow and the red lipstick and just kind of uh, very... Um, very cliche and just kind of blue is kind of played out but I feel like now blue is making a comeback and especially during the winter I feel like you can really do these like ice queen uh snow princess uh looks and it really just kind of be uh so beautiful imagine this look with like just a pair of like with a black skirt and a white blouse or even just like uh a really beautiful like dark evergreen uh, green sweater just really really beautiful you can pair this uh with quite a few things actually and it's just so fun it's fun and it's sparkly and it brings me joy and I'm hoping that it's going to bring you just a little bit of joy as well I am going to be using a few different palettes to achieve this uh, just because I don't have a, an all blue palette and of course you can use different tones. This is just what I felt uh, went uh, the best with my uh, skin tone. Um, and then I'm gonna just, it's just kind of like a hodgepodge of all the different blue uh, colors that I have in my collection. Not all of them, but the ones that I could hunt out fairly quickly. <laughs> um, so the first palette that I'm going to be using is this Revolution this is the Revolution Integrity Wild Animal Palette. Really, really beautiful palette. I love uh, the actual packaging. The front is this really beautiful zebra print. And then the back is this really beautiful, like, deep blue, uh, like, acrylic looking plastic. Really, really cute. Uh, but inside, you've got a couple of really, really gorgeous blue shades. Now, I did use this one. I used this one. I used this darker blue shade. We're just going to kind of go through it, and I'll tell you what I'm using as we go. And, uh... If, if you don't have this palette, if you don't have these exact shades, just kind of use what I'm doing as a template and then just use whatever shades you do have and just kind of fill in. Uh, so I'm going to use that one. And then also I'll be using, so one of my subscribers, I don't know who it was, um, 
but I will forever be very, very thankful. Uh, one of my subscribers must have gotten my P.O. box off of my business page. Uh, yeah, my business page on Facebook because I got these in uh, the mail. And I will tell you right now, I have never bawled so hard except for at the birth of my child and my wedding. I was so blown away. But they sent me a couple of these Be Perfect palettes. Now, y'all know how cheap I am and y'all know that I don't spend money like this on a palette. Oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional. Okay, lock it down, lock it down. Anyway, I was so very, very surprised and so thankful. So whoever you are, thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you I, I just thank you so very much. But they, they sent me a couple of Be Perfect palettes. And uh, this being one of them. Now, this is the uh, Sensorium, I believe. Yeah, the Sensorium Chapter 1 uh, palette. <sighs> Such a beautiful palette. This is my new baby, uh, for sure. But I have been having so much fun with this palette since I got it in the mail. You open it up, you've got a really beautiful, nice-sized, full-sized mirror, and then this is what the palette looks like. Now, whoever sent this to me absolutely knows me. <laughs> absolutely knows me 100% because this is definitely my kind of palette. There is all kinds of color in here. You have some of the most beautiful, like, absolutely gorgeous topper shades. It is just... <clears throat> It is an absolutely stunning palette. So I am going to be using a few colors out of this palette as well. And we're just gonna hop into it and I'm just gonna kind of explain to you what I'm doing as I'm going, cause I can already tell that this is gonna be one of those videos where I do nothing but talk. So I hope you have got your listening ears on. <laughs> I hope that you've got a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and I hope that you are sitting at your vanity or somewhere uh, comfortable and I hope that you can just uh, enjoy spending a little bit of time with me. So I've already got my eyeshadow primer on. I actually found uh, this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. This is in the shade, uh, this is the sheer one. I actually found this in my eye makeup drawer and I was like wow and it was open and I didn't want it to go bad so I've been using this plus I lost my next one I don't know where I put it <laughs> so I've just been using this one uh, this is not my favorite it's not as tacky as I like and I don't think it does as good of a job holding uh, the shadow and locking it to my eye as my next one does or even my Believe Beauty one uh, but it works it's an eyeshadow primer it's what I've got right now so that's what we're using and then I'm going to take, this is an LA Colors brush. This is just a brush that I got for a dollar. It is kind of a thin, fluffy brush. And I'm going to take this into this really beautiful, kind of bright, light blue color. And I'm going to mix it in with this color right here. So this is Aroused and Sterile. Sterile, wow, wow. <laughs> so Aroused and Sterile. These two shades right here. I'm going to mix them a little bit. I wanted something nice and bright. to kind of use as my transition shade. Now I'm gonna keep this fairly subdued. I'm not gonna take it all the way up to my eyebrow and I'm not gonna take it up onto the side of my nose uh, like I usually do. I'm really gonna keep it very uh, contained and stick very closely to the natural contour of my eye. And at first, I'm just gonna start kind of stamping this product on. These shadows are absolutely stunning. So, so gorgeous. So, so pigmented. They are just about the easiest things in the world to blend to. I, uh, mm -mm. this is definitely one of the most expensive palettes that I've ever played with. Uh, I know I have a couple of uh, Laura Mercier palettes and I have a NARS palette and all of that, but those are all things that I've gotten from like Burks and TJ Maxx, and I'm sure way past their prime. Uh, but this one, I just am, I'm so thankful. And I'm such a lucky, lucky girl. I'm such a lucky girl. So I'm just going to continue to kind of stamp this on. Kind of mapping out my shape. I want this to be nice and rounded. Just taking little bits at a time on my brush. And kind of keeping it very, very neat because this is going to be uh, my transition color. 
but I don't want it to be like just fling it everywhere because that's going to make this eye look look really messy really quickly. So I'm just taking my time. And these blend so easy, it's really not difficult at all. I'm just kind of tapping in here and using very, very gentle pressure to kind of spread the shadow. Very, very gently, just like that. We're just gonna continue, continue to build that. There's another thing about these shadows. They are super, super buildable. They have very nice pigmentation, but the build, like, it's not right in the face with pigment. Like, you, they give you the option to build up the intensity that you want, which I really, really enjoy. I'm gonna take this up fairly close to my eyebrow, but not all the way. And I'm gonna kind of wing it out just a little bit on my outer corner. Okay. I'm just going to continue to build and I'm going to start talking now. <laughs> Has anybody else got their Christmas decorations up? I finally got mine up yesterday. Y'all, I was dead on my feet. Between getting ready for Thanksgiving and all of that good stuff and like grocery shop shopping and trying to make sure because my sister, she comes over. And my sister has three children. Uh, she has three children all under the age of 10 and uh, her husband and herself. And so she comes over and she spends the night, the night before Thanksgiving. And we wake up the next morning and we make breakfast for everybody. And then we start cooking and baking and all that good stuff. Well, my sister had problems this year and didn't even get here the night before Thanksgiving until like 1230 in the morning. And then I don't see her very often. So of course, when she got here, we stayed up and we talked and we chit chatted and, and did all of those things that should have waited until the next morning, but uh, we couldn't make ourselves wait that long. So we stayed up way, way too long. And then I ended up having to stay up because it was late anyway. So I ended up staying up and uh, waiting till it was time for my husband to go to work. So I could just be awake with him and get him his coffee and all of that good stuff, you know, things that us wives are supposed to do. And then I didn't even go to bed until, oh, I think it was very, very close to like 5.30, 6 o'clock. And then I woke up at 8 o'clock to like go put it in the turkey. Oh, well, my sister, she stayed up too. She went to bed maybe uh, 30 minutes before. Uh, well, she went to bed around 2.30 and I stayed up and was cleaning and getting ready and all that good stuff. Well, she, she was supposed to get up at six so she could start baking so I could put the turkey in uh, when I woke up at eight. Well, this, this woman, uh, poor thing. She's so busy and she's so busy all the time. I feel for her. So she didn't even wake up until eight o'clock. <laughs> so I wake up and she's just now starting to bake. So I had to wait for another hour to get the turkey. Anyway, it took, it was just a kerfluffle. It was just a big kerfluffle and we didn't get, we ended up not even eating until like four o'clock. We were supposed to eat at, um, we were supposed to eat at noon because she was supposed to be at her uh, mother-in-law's by two to drop the kids off. But we didn't even get the food out of the oven until close to like 2, 2.30. And then by the time we were done eating, it was close to 4 and we were just dead on our feet. So she was like, I'm going home. She didn't, poor thing, she helped me clean up as much as she could. But she was, she was so done. And so she went home, but she left y'all and I died. <laughs> I was so tired. I just died. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do with the Sensorium palette uh, for right now. I've got it really nice and blended. You see how beautiful uh, it blends out. We've got this really gorgeous gradient going on. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back into the Sensorium and I'm going to go into this really beautiful, super pigmented white shade. This is honestly one of the best white shades I have ever used in my life. This is called uh, Stability. Really, really gorgeous. Super, super pigmented. I'm going to take that on a just kind of like a precise flat packing brush. And I'm just going to tuck this up underneath my brow 
and get my brow highlight out of the way. This is also going to brighten things up. It's going to make it look a bit more crisp. I'm also going to bring it all the way through under my eyebrow just to kind of continue the brightness. I'm going to tuck it underneath the entire length of my eyebrow and then kind of blend it out and fade it out towards the inner corner of my eye. Just like that. Nice and bright. There's a really beautiful pop of color there now. I'm going to go back into that first brush I used. And just kind of merge the blue and the white. And marry them together just a little bit better. Just like that. So thank you, Miss Sensorium. We are done with you for just a moment. We're going to go into the Revolution palette now. And I want to take this really beautiful, uh, deep kind of like, I almost want to call it like an electric royal blue because it's got an electricity and almost a neon. There's a brightness to it, but it's still like a very uh, deep, dark, oceanic blue. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to mix a little bit of uh, this shade in it too. So this is more of like a blue toned kind of like slate gray. So these two colors right here, and I'm going to use this to kind of, uh, do my uh, lower transition and my crease shade and for that I'm going to use just my cheapy Walmart brush uh, this is just a kind of domed almost uh, fluffy blending brush I would say that this is a small fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to tap into both of these shades and just start to deepen up my crease and again I'm going to bring this all the way To my inner corner you don't have to worry if you get it on your uh, lid at all because we're gonna go over that with a liquid shadow and you're not gonna be able to see it I'm really just kind of going for depth now and dimension and just kind of deepening up my crease and kind of making the blue just a little bit more interesting now we're really working on our gradient so where was I? Oh my gosh. I don't even remember, but she left and I died. I died. I literally, I sat down on the couch. I'm sure all of y'all know exactly the way that I was feeling. <laughs> I sat down on, my, on the couch and I told my husband, I said, honey, I'm just going to take like a 20 minute power nap. I'm going to take a 20 minute. I didn't even eat y'all. I was so dead tired by the time everybody was done eating and like everybody was served that I just like was not food was like the last thing on my mind. So we said our goodbyes and she packed up her kids. She helped me clean up as much as she could, but she was like so ready to go. And honestly, I was so ready to have her gone. I wanted my house back. <laughs> so she left and I was like, I'm just going to take a 20 minute power nap, baby. Wake me up in like, wake me up in half an hour and I'll get the food put away and I'll eat and all that good stuff. Right. My husband, my lo I love him. He knew I was dead. He knew I was dead tired. Y'all, he did not. He did not wake me up. He like, he left, he kept my son, he kept our son uh, in our bedroom playing video games and he literally just let me like die on the couch. And the next thing I know, I'd roll over and I check my phone and it's freaking eight o'clock. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I basically slept the whole day away. And I know it was only like a four hour power nap, but I'm one of those people who's like, I can't sleep unless it's nighttime and I'm supposed to be sleeping because for some reason I feel like an awful, horrible, terrible person if I take a nap during the day. I've got to get over that. But that's what happened. And y'all, when I tell you I was up, I put the food away. I ate my dinner, a little bit of it, and I went right back to sleep. <laughs> I went right back to sleep and I slept until three o'clock the next morning when I had to wake up and get my husband ready for work. And then the next day was spent uh, getting my house put back together and getting dishes done and all of that good stuff. Like having to, I have a little bit of fallout. We're going to address that situation in just a little bit, but I'm still using those same two colors and I'm just kind of very gentle pressure back and forth, just using windshield wiper motions and small circular buffing motions. Just going into my crease and slightly above and just deepening everything up. I'm also going onto my outer corner, 
maybe about a quarter of the way and deepening up my outer corner as well. Just kind of bringing it down. Just kind of tapping that color into place. These shadows are actually really, really nice. They don't skip at all. They go on really, really smoothly. They're super, super nice. I actually really enjoy this brush as well. So now that I've got that nice and deep, I'm gonna go back in to that first brush that we used and I'm gonna go gently over where the two shadows meet and just marry them together a little bit more Still using gentle pressure. I don't want to deepen up and bring that deeper color up too far or else it's going to make this eye look way too deep and way too dark. And that's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking to kind of blur that line because I want this to be a really, really beautiful gradient. I don't want you to be able to tell where one color ends and another begins. I like to call that my watercolor eye. I like a very, very blended look. Just like that. Beautiful, beautiful gradient. I'm going to fix a little bit of that fallout because that's going to irritate the bejesus out of me. So yeah, that was what the day after Thanksgiving was spent doing. And then today, because my husband had today off, everything's falling all over me. Because my husband, ha my husband had today off, uh, we, we slept in. And then I woke up and I made French toast. And then we had so much turkey left over, guys. I didn't even buy two full turkeys because turkeys were so expensive this year. I literally just bought two turkey breasts with the uh, cavities so that I could stuff them. But we still had a ton a food leftover. So I made uh, turkey pot pie, which turned out to be so, so good. I made a really, really cheapy version of it. Cause you know, you know what I think is so insane is we, we go out and we make this giant feast, right? For one day, for one day of the year, we spend hundreds of dollars on this big giant feast. And then because we're broke, we have to starve for the rest of the month <laughs> or at least until next paycheck. So I use the leftover turkey and I made turkey pot pie. It was really, really good. Um, I will, I'll have the, the recipe over on my Facebook page. If you want to go check it out, it was absolutely delicious. Super, super cheap. I just took the leftover turkey and I need a different brush. I just took the leftover turkey with some frozen peas, cut up some carrots and then some onions threw it. And then I used uh biscuit. I, I made biscuits instead of like pie dough and I made cheddar garlic biscuits and put it over the top of it. It turned out really, really well. I was really happy with it. My husband, I tell you what, y'all have never met a picky eater like my husband. Y'all just, y'all just don't even know. The struggle is very, very real. I want to deepen up my outer corner uh, just a little bit more. And for that, I'm going to go in to still the Revolution palette, but I'm going to go into this really, uh, this dark uh, black shade and I'm going to mix it uh, in with a little bit of that uh, kind of like slate gray color. I'm going to mix the two and just kind of stamp that. onto my outer V. They're in there playing video games. I don't know if y'all can hear them or not, but they're in there playing. What are you guys playing? God. God, they're in there playing. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. So if y'all hear them. <laughs> Killing zombies. So if y'all hear them in there yelling at the TV, that's what they're doing. They're in there. Killing zombies. No, not at all, baby. Just like that. Just steeping it up a little bit. I'm going to go back into that first brush we used, the LA Colors. I'm going to dip back in to this really beautiful bright blue color. And just bring back a little bit more 
of that brightness and also use this to help kind of blend and smooth any lines that we may have going on. And just using very, very gentle pressure with circular motions. Focusing on my outer corner. Just going over everything. One last time, just like that. Really beautiful, nice, deep gradient now. So, so gorgeous. Uh, so where was I? Because I've just been talking, 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 talking. I'm going to use a little bit more of that white shade. And I'm going to take that on this uh, Dew Color 08. So it's just a flat packing brush, but it's tiny so I can be nice and precise with it. I'm going to go back into that white and put a little bit onto my inner corner. Just to kind of bring a little bit of light back to the situation. Like so. And then I'm going to take a Q-tip with a little bit of micellar water on it. And I'm going to clean up my outer edge just a bit just where that black smudged a little bit on me and then down here where I have a little bit of fallout it doesn't look like you have a ton of fallout until you get your q-tip down there and you see all of it imagine that being down there and then you put in your foundation on and then you have green under eyes. I've done it a million times, it's never cute. <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna take, this is one of my favorite liquid, if I can find it. This is one of my favorite liquid, liquid shadows of all time. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow, I believe. Shimmer and Glow. This is in the shade Freedom. It is the most beautiful, bright, icy baby blue you've ever seen in your life. I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand, you don't need a ton of it. It does go pretty far. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take this uh, Dew Color, uh, this is a concealer brush. And I'm just gonna start painting the rest of my exposed lid space. With this I'm gonna go all the way from my lash line up to my crease and it's so pigmented it really just goes over everything and because it's shimmer you don't have to be super precise with it I'm just kind of tapping and packing it onto my lid This stuff sets fairly quickly as well. So for all of my hooded eye beauties out there, you don't have to worry about it smudging and transferring a ton because it does set pretty quickly. And I'm just kind of blending it into my outer corner where I have that darker shadow. And then I'll just take my finger and kind of tap over it. And there's my other babies because they have to make their presence known too. And it just brings so much Oh, so much drama, so much glam to the eye. It is so, so stunning with very, very little effort. So gorgeous. I think it pulls the entire thing together in the most beautiful way. I am so in love with it. So, so pretty. And that is about it for our upper, the upper part of our eye. We'll focus on our lower lash line now. We're going to go back into our Revolution palette. And we're going to go back into that really beautiful kind of like electric oceanic blue. And I'm going to take that on 
the same brush that I used for the white. So this is the Do Color 08. And I'm going to take just a little bit on the tip of my brush and staying very, very close to my lash line. I'm just going to kind of smooth that. Making sure to connect the corner. I want my eye to be wrapped in that really beautiful icy blueness. I'm taking that probably about three quarters of the way across my lower lash line. Just like that. Taking the same brush, I'm going to wipe it off first. Y'all, I definitely need to wash my towel. <laughs> it's seen better days. I'm going to go into this really beautiful bright blue now. So this is kind of like I would say a satin a satin shade. Uh, not quite a metallic, not quite a shimmer. Um, it's just got a little bit of a reflect in there. Uh, and I'm going to take this underneath it. And I'm going to take this through the rest of my eye. Very, very gentle pressure, sticking very, very close to my lash line. Uh, with blue, if you blow out uh, your bottom lash line too much, it can very, very quickly turn into a uh, black eye situation. And that's not what we're looking for. That's not really cute. Um, at least not in this application. <laughs> it's not what we're looking for. So just really, really gently bringing that through our lower lash line. And then we're going to do a little bit of a highlight now. Uh, for the highlight, what shade did I use for the highlight for this one? Because y'all, honestly, I cannot remember. Don't you hate that? Oh, okay. So I'm going to go into this shade right here. This is a really beautiful duochrome shade. I'm going to swatch it for you guys so you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like a pinky blue kind of like violet duochrome. My uh, camera is not doing it justice, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go back to the same brush that I was using. No, I'll do. So this is my AOA Studios brush. This is the E124. So it's just a very small uh, pencil brush. We'll go into that shade and we'll paint a little bit of that on the inner corner. It looks so pretty on the inner corner. It's kind of like, uh, it's almost got like a purple, uh, icy undertone to it. And it really, really catches the light. I'm going to bring that down onto the lash line a little bit as well. And then we're going to tuck just a tiny bit of this right up underneath the highest point of the arch of our brow. Just to kind of catch the light. but we want it to be nice and subtle. So just a tiny little bit. And for the most part, uh, that is the eye look, guys. Super quick, super simple. Maybe not super quick. Definitely would have been a lot quicker if I wouldn't have been sitting here uh, talking the entire time. But beautiful nonetheless. Uh, the last thing we have to do is a little bit of liner. So for the uh, bottom lash line, I wanted to bring, I wanted to stick with the blue theme, uh, but I wanted to do something a little bit more sparkly uh, to bring a little bit more fun uh, to the eye look. So I'm going to use this NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Chill Blue. So this is just a really beautiful kind of metallic, um, almost periwinkle, kind of want to, it's like an iris kind of color. Really, really beautiful. Very metallic, very icy. We're going to take this on our lower waterline. Doing a nice thick line from inner to outer corner. This is also going to help to brighten things up just a little bit. I think it's super, super pretty. And then for the upper lash line, I'm going to use, this is still the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick, but this is in the shade Blue Trip. It's a really beautiful kind of like baby blue color. And I'm going to take this.
and I'm gonna line my upper lash line with it. And then I'm gonna do a tiny little kind of like accent wing. I'm gonna pull my skin tight just a little bit. And just do kind of like a thick kind of hook. It looks way better on this side, but the tip broke off. But y'all get the point. Just doing a kind of a little tiny kind of like accent. It's super, super cute. Kind of catches and it looks like a kind of a negative space wing. It's very, very pretty. I enjoy it quite, quite a bit. I think it's a very nice little touch. We're also going to do a super, super thick layer of mascara. You guys know I'm not going to make you watch my, me put on my mascara. It's just about the most boring thing on the planet, and I'm, we're not going to do it. But I will tell you the two uh, different mascaras that I've been using. I have really been liking um, mixing different mascaras. I think it makes a world of difference. And there's not really that one mascara I in my possession right now that really does it all for me. I've got a lot that give me super length or super volume. Uh, but And a lot of it, too, is that I have... A bunch of open things of mascara and I'm really trying to work through uh, what's open because <laughs> I want to open something new. <laughs> I want to move on. Uh, so I'm using this CoverGirl. This is the professional super thick lash, the one in the really cute pink tube. And then of course my Maybelline falsies. So I use the super thick lash first. Uh, this is really, really good at giving you uh, length and also keeping your lashes nice and separated. Uh, so you get like it really kind of multiplies things in a really beautiful way it gives you a nice amount of like length and then I go back over it with this and it gives it a uh, volume makes them a lot darker it is super super pretty and then for uh, lipstick today I really think that for this I would pair it with uh, something fairly neutral I really like the I hate going out of frame, but I really like this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, but because we have a blue eye going on, some, and I want to keep with like the frosty, the Snow Queen, Ice Princess kind of theme, I wanted something that was very, very cool toned and uh, very kind of like icy and wintry. So this is what I, this is what I landed on. This is the shade 100 Philosopher. It is a lilac lavender color. Really, really gorgeous. The staying power on these is insane. It's a very beautiful, very cool toned uh, lavender color. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna line my lips just because uh, I think when you use uh, any kind of liquid lipstick, it always, always, always benefits from lining your lips first. Uh, and for that, I'm gonna use my Milani, my Milani, uh, oh my gosh, guys, my brain is just about dead. This is the Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade 09 Spice. It is my absolute favorite nude lip liner. They are so creamy. And so easy to use. And for my skin tone, it is the absolute perfect nude. And not only not only that, but be, but because it's a fairly neutral tone, it's got a little bit of warmth to it, but it's fairly neutral, so it goes with just about anything. We're gonna take a very very thin layer of this. Now that I understand 
is probably an awful lot for a lot of you and definitely not a color combo that you would be into but because I'm a weirdo I absolutely love it but you could totally put a neutral or a cool toned uh taupey nude with this and it would look absolutely gorgeous uh but this is what I'm gonna do because I like the purple and the blue together I like the very very cool toned I understand uh that this the color may make me look a little bit dead but I'm okay with that I'm totally okay with that you definitely do not have to do what I uh what I do but my loves this is the eye look. What do we think? Do we like it? Do we love it? Would we wear it? Let me know in the comments below. I am definitely going to have to fix my little accent here. Well, maybe maybe it's not so bad. I don't know. It's not my favorite. This one over here is definitely a lot better, but it's like really, really late and I'm kind of half brain dead. So I am super aesthetic that I got through this video at all. Guys, please know that I love you so, so much. Uh, as always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting of any kind. It's just me sitting in front of my camera doing my makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, as always, I will be posting uh, finished pictures over on my Facebook page, Makeup for the Everyday Mama. So please head on over there uh, and check them out. And before you leave, guys, please give me a thumbs up and uh don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I would so, so appreciate it, guys. Uh, I do these videos because I think it's fun and I have uh, all kinds of fun uh, sitting here filming them. But I would really, really appreciate just a thumbs up and maybe a comment uh, letting me know that you guys enjoy what I'm doing or even constructive criticism. That would be great, too. Um, please know that I love you so, so very much. I am so thankful for your time, your clicks, and your views. They mean the absolute world to me. And with that said, I am going to I'm going to skedaddle. I uh, my bed is calling my name. My pillow is singing to me and it's a siren song that I can't quite resist anymore. So uh, I love you. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And remember, you're important. Bye.